Chaos in the beach resort of Acapulco. Three days after Manuel made landfall, the city's international airport submerged in waist-deep floodwaters. Some 40,000 tourists struggling to get out after the worst storm damage to hit Mexico in years. We ran out of money, so we spent the night here. We don't have food or water. And she's not alone. Here outside the Air Force Base, there are hundreds and hundreds of people in line, really as far as you can see. Many of them have been waiting all day, and some even spent the night here. Most of the tourists are Mexican, but we also find a medical student from Los Angeles. We tried to leave on Monday, and so we all got together in the car to, to go, and the road was blocked. We didn't get further than a mile. She spent 12 hours in this line today, but seems to accept she may not get on a flight. You know, we're a lot better off than a lot of people. More than 10,000 tourists have been airlifted out, many of them abandoning cars and belongings in their desperation to get home. The Air Force is also carrying supplies to towns and neighborhoods that have been completely cut off by washed out bridges and roads. Electricity and phone lines were down for two days and running water won't be restored to many homes for another 20 days. At least 80 people have been killed and a million people affected across the country by the onslaught of three different tropical storms. Here in Acapulco, rescue workers are still just reaching the hardest hit areas. And while some weary tourists are finally headed home, many more are bracing for another night. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Acapulco, Mexico.